You uh, may have heard me mention last week on the show that uh, I'm going to be part of Chatelaine's 30 Day Fresh Start Challenge. And basically, they're asking women and men across the country to pick something to improve on over the next 30 days. Could be anything from sleeping more, hanging out more with your significant other. I, of course, am pledging to try and shave off some of this baby weight. So uh, take a look at this. When I first went to the hospital to have my sweet little pea here, Eva Simone, I rolled into that hospital at, wait for it, 201 pounds, okay? You guys all had the pleasure of sitting back at home and watching me expand on camera week after week after week. And in the end, I'd actually gained about 57 pounds. I was 144 pounds when I first got pregnant, which was a pretty good weight for me, you know, that, you know, fairly fit. So um, in horror, I looked at this 201 pounds and I thought to myself, okay, I knew what the reality was. I was going to be back at work at six weeks. Didn't expect to lose it all in the six weeks, but I did want to get a good head start. So before I even had the baby, I did meet with a nutritionist who you're about to meet right now, and uh, she put me on a fairly strict regimen for when I came home from the hospital. Stuck with it for the most part, cheated here and there, but I've lost about 30 pounds already. So now I've got 20 pounds to go. Um, I have been working out, getting up at the crack of dawn, pumping a bottle of milk, going to the basement with the baby, putting her in her swing, and pumping some iron. But this is really crunch time, and this is the weight that's going to be the most difficult to lose. So that's where I'm at. Oh, yeah. When you step on that scale, I remember stepping on that scale, and you said this to me. You're like, don't step on the scale before you go to the hospital. I yes. did. Uh, I saw the 201 pounds. All I heard was ding, 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 ding. In yeah. the corner, heavyweight champion Tracy Michelle Moore. I was like, oh my goodness. Because something happens to you when you see that two in front and the, the three digits, right? When you weigh, weigh more than your husband. You when don't want to weigh, weigh more, more than, than your, your husband. husband. I did when I was pregnant. You don't want to weigh more than your husband. That's right. Yeah. So it was really nice uh, to be able to meet with you and get on a plan. And I will tell you, uh, the plan's good in the sense that I'm not starving. And good, I like good. food a lot. I love to eat. Yes. Working out is not an issue for me. It's just finding the time I love to work out but for me if I could eat like a big bowl of chocolate and chips every day I would right so it's good when you can find a plan that you can actually stick to and you know we didn't talk about this but I, I cheat every once in a while but we'll talk about that in a bit yes. let's talk about the good stuff I'm eating okay so we have a few Tracy principles that I wanted you to follow I okay. wanted you to have three meals and one to two snacks you were you know you could skip the morning snack if you didn't need it but if you needed it you could take it right I wanted you to have a protein at most meals yes and not going hungry if you were hungry we were doing this wrong if you're hungry we're not burning fat right I didn't want rapid rapid weight loss like you did lose 30 pounds in seven weeks which is yeah she's well she's eight weeks this week so yeah so that's it's quite great a bit, yeah we don't want it faster than that I know no. that sounds funny but two pounds per week two pounds per week so it stays off so so it's fat loss so it's not right. muscle wasting loss we're not interested in muscle wasting loss um, and we you know you're a new mom so yeah. I need to do quick so everything you see here is literally under 15 minutes and that is so important to yeah as well the fact that a lot of the stuff you can eat with one hand as well yes the yogurt par parfait in the morning this is what I have I've got the Greek yogurt which you told me to get because it's high in protein high in protein low in sugar with blueberries yes and this psyllium cereal right there which keeps you nice and regular yes <laughs> which is very important and that's breakfast the snack is sometimes a coffee uh, and my lunch, I always have like a whole wheat tortilla stuffed with a lot of veggies and a protein. Yes. About three to four ounces of protein and a salad. Which, or baby carrots. Which is great. And in the beginning when you're losing weight, I want to keep you safe. So repetition is sort of important. Right. Now after that, when you get completely food bored, there's variety. So I brought some variety today. Okay. And there is cheating. But yes. when you're on maintenance, there's about 70-30% cheating. When you're on weight loss, we're yes. going to about 80-20, 90 to 10% cheating. So there's yeah. cheating, but there's not... Crazy Tons cheating. Yeah. The only difference between my cheating now and my cheating before was that my cheating now, I try not to do a whole day of cheating. I try and do a cheat meal. Yes, and that's good. Because that's a little that's bit good. more manageable rather than, okay, I'm going to eat 17 pancakes for breakfast and then I'm going to have a cake for lunch and a pizza for dinner. I just do one meal that's a cheat. Like I have, I have, I brought my food journal. Oh, she Let's talk about the food journal. journal. It's so important. I'm going to show you some of my cheats. That's great. Now it's very important to food journal because it keeps you honest. Yeah. So here we have right here on October 1st. Um, I had macaroni with wieners. That was Sydney's dinner. I ate that. Cereal with skim milk. Oh, you can actually see it there. Uh, cookies, two cookies, and chocolate. That was a whole chocolate bar. 
So there you go. That's a good that's a good cheat. That was a good yeah. cheat. <laughs> and it's usually after my weigh in days. I weigh myself on Wednesdays because you told me only weigh myself once a week. Only once a week. Yes. Only once a week. We're doing two pounds per week. There are a few things that you can sort of incorporate at this point too. Yeah. So a few more things like sweet potatoes or eggplants oh, that's or good. this is such a good recipe that's gonna be online for your viewers. This is a egg white pancake. It is oh, I've had those before. They're very good. Very good. Very, yeah. very filling. And so you're right. If you cheat a little bit, you're okay. Yeah. But if you continually cheat and your cravings come back, because yes. right now you should be crave free. Oh, I, should I? You should. <laughs> and if you, uh -oh. I'm getting there, Joey. You're getting Listen, there. Listen, we're going to yeah. put all the information about the diet on the website. I don't want anyone to think at home I can't do this because I don't have Dr. Joey in my corner. You do. Joey's in your corner.